Hello, and welcome back to Bite-Sized Neo4j for Data Scientists. This is part 28 in our series, and it's for part four of a mini-series within the series, looking at this Kaggle competition of recommendation engines. We know that graphs uh, are really good at solving recommendation engine problems, so we've had a lot of fun with this data set so far. Um, today, we're going to look at using the K-Nearest Neighbors algorithm, or KNN, to uh, identify similar items within that data set. My name is Claire Sullivan. I'm a data science advocate at Neo4j, and here's how to find me on the internet. As a reminder of the important links within this series, the first is how to create a free Neo4j sandbox instance. The second is where you can find all the previous videos in this series, and the third is the repository. Okay, we've been using this graph now the, for the past several videos. I'm not going to talk about this too much. Just go download it if you're interested. And, um, you could win $50,000 for a good solution. We're also, we've talked about the graph model before. I'm going to use the simple model, which is just customers having purchased articles. Now, when we talked about the model, we talked about how you might want to have properties uh, for your nodes that are numeric and not strings. In this case, article here has product type number, graphical appearance number, and we are going to do very basic feature engineering today. We're going to use those numbers as our features for our KNN calculation. Okay, so let's do it. I have, um, I've loaded all the data set into Neo4j and let's get started. We will be using the uh, GDS library, of course, um, which has KNN built into it. So we have to create our graph projection first. And in particular, I want you to notice that I'm passing in a few properties to my article nodes. I've picked four here just kind of arbitrarily that are all integers, they're numeric. Okay, so that's the feature engineering that I've done. It's very sophisticated. Um, and if you watch a future video, I'm going to show you a, a lot better way of doing features uh, for this graph. Um, but no spoilers right now. Okay, so we have our graph projection, and now we're going to run the KNN algorithm. So here it is. We're going to stream our results to the screen here. I want to talk about a few things here. First off, um, node weight property. What KNN does is it looks at the node properties of, um, you know, this in this case, section number I've specified, and looks at the distance between nodes. And the, the nodes that have the smallest distance are considered to be the nodes with the highest similarity. Now, I'm using GDS 1.8 here, but GDS 2.0 is coming out pretty soon to the internet near you. And when, when you get 2.0, you actually can specify a list here um, of different weights that nodes no properties that should be considered. Okay, so we're going to give this a run. And while it's running, I want to talk to you about this top K of one. Now, what we're asking KNN to do here is return the top K values based on similarity. So here I'm returning just the top most similar item. Um, it's important to think about doing that because these clustering algorithms, they get to be, you know, order of n squared in terms of their complexity. So I don't really care about calculating the similarity of each item against each every other item. I just care about, well, give me the top ones. So in this case, I have this hoodie. Um, it's dark gray, and it's in this section name called divided projects, which I've come to learn means teen and tween. Um, and it's most similar to these culottes that are light pink. Okay. Obviously, those things are not visually similar in any way. They're similar because they're both in the same section name. Okay, so that's why that's why those results are coming back the way they are. If you do more sophisticated feature engineering, though, you are going to obviously get better results. I'm not saying these are great results. This is not what you want to submit to Kaggle. This is just a demonstration. Okay, now what I'm going to do here is instead of streaming to the screen, I'm going to write our KNN. And in particular, what this is going to do, this is really helpful. It writes us a new relationship type within the graph. And that relationship is going to be called similar. Okay, and I've got this right property called score. That's my similarity score. I'm going to return the top 10, um, uh, K of 10 in, in this case, just because if I only returned one, then I just have one node pointing at one other node, and it doesn't visually look as cool as what we're about to get. Okay, so let's, let's let that run here. And in a minute, we're going to inspect just visually what it comes back with. And I'll just copy my query in here to have it ready to go. All right, so what we're doing, like I said, is we've created this new relationship type called similar. And remember that similarity is only based on section number. I went with this hypothesis that items that are similar are going to be like in the same place, the same section of the store. 
Okay, so here we have a new graph. I'm just looking at the first 500 nodes within that graph. And again, don't over-index on, okay, well, I've got leggings that are considered to be most similar to a sweater. That's not what this is about. This is about things that are within the same uh, section within the store. Okay, so, you know, this is, this is a way to get started. Tune in for a future video, though, where we talk about what better features might be to to run through the KNN algorithm. Have a good weekend and thanks for tuning in. Please do reach out to me on Twitter if you have questions or recommendations for future videos. Talk to you later.